Good afternoon, and thank you all for coming. My name is Michael Howell, and I and the design team of Bailey Allen, Kim Choi, and Yoon Yoon Kim have begun development of an indoor positioning and navigation system for the Android platform. Anyone who's ever had to find their way to a location within a building with which they are unfamiliar can appreciate the appeal of a device such as a smartphone that can be kept with you at all times, can be updated to show you a map of your current environment and your position within that environment, and can help you plan a route from one point to another. Several parties have attempted to meet this need. Most recently, Ericsson a few weeks ago and Google Maps just a few days ago was updated to provide navigation within buildings such as airports and large sporting venues. However, most implementations we've seen so far have been hampered in one way or another. Some require specialized hardware, others must be recalibrated entirely whenever the wireless infrastructure within a building is changed. We envision a system that is more readily implemented and more readily updated than those that have come before. Towards that end, we are developing a system that uses the following approach. The user's distance from a number of wireless access points is approximated as a function of the received signal strength at that user's location. The approximate position in space is then found by a trilateration with the known distances of the access points and the approximated distances. Navigation is accomplished via Dijkstra's algorithm. Directions are then displayed graphically via text and via text-to-speech. This semester, we focused on the problems of familiarizing ourselves with the Android platform, finding the user's distance from the access points, and calculating the position in space. Bailey has taken lead on our Android experimentations. Hyun has researched various ways to calculate distance, and in fact, other methods of finding one's position. Yoongjun and I have focused on distance and trilateration. Our interest is to develop a system, as I said, that is as widely implementable as possible. As a consequence, we're trying to develop something that is hardware neutral. Consequently, we cannot use anything such as more precise measurements to find a distance, time of arrival, time distance of arrival. We're instead forced to use received signal strength. This is problematic as there is no agreed upon standard for signal strength, and therefore we must somehow normalize our results. Calculations are therefore difficult, but not impossible. Uh, we, uh, Part of it. We are uh, attempting to normalize these results as best we can. Our principal challenge for senior design two will be to refine our distance calculations by predicting an RSSI value, calculating an RSSI value, and then iterating until those values converge. Further, we must develop an a database of all the access points, their known locations, their MAC addresses, so that we can check those via our, uh, our program when we compile them. <laughs> Sorry, I think that's about it. We open the floor to any questions. Perfect. Three minutes. Sure. Excellent. Well, what do you expect as your accuracy? Do you anticipate? We hope for considerable accuracy, but with the signal strength variability, some Cisco, for instance, reports signal strength as an integer between zero and one hundred. Other companies will calculate it between zero and thirty. So we're having to make some assumptions based on that. There are more accurate methods that deal with specialized hardware or properties of the hardware, such as the antenna gain of the receiver and of the transmitter. But without knowing those, without being able to guarantee that will be the same from building to building or from device to device, we have to make some assumptions that this seems like the safest bet. But we hope for it to be accurate within a few meters. Other than Wi-Fi, is there anything else that you've researched or that other people are looking at for distance that's readily available on smartphones? For distance? Yeah. Not so much. Um, for, well, there are different ways of calculating one's position, such as preparing the fingerprint of a building and comparing those signals that you receive to the signals that you uh, have in some database. But as I said, whenever you change the infrastructure of the building, you have to recalibrate the whole thing. As far as uh, once you have a position, you can estimate your current position based on due reckoning, based on the accelerometer of the phone, and other features such as that. And we hope to incorporate some of those. But to find a fixed position, we're primarily doing the signature. Thank you.